Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Parker's Hardcore World, the Minecraft Hardcore World, where I'm here and I'm trying to die. The whole goal is, is to beat Minecraft, finish off, get all the achievements, and not die. So far, uh, so okay. Uh, there's events that we don't talk about, but you know, we're here now, and a lot of progress happened. I don't want to show you too much. I'll show you that in just a second. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'll wait for people to come in, and then I'll show you where we left off last episode. Um, so to fill you in, if you weren't here last time, I did get a beacon. I finally killed the wither. Uh, I, I crafted a beacon, and I've, I have done a couple other things that I will show you in a moment, but I'm getting my house and making it look awesome. Hi, guys. What's up? Welcome, everybody. Oop, you know, I just realized Minecraft, there's a black bar. Oops. Go away, you black bar. We don't want you here. <gasps> There's a villager here. Hold up, hold up, villager boy. I gotta fi I gotta get to the bottom of this real quick. Dun dun dun. -dun. Hi, guy. What's up, man? Um, d he trades and stuff, right? Do uh, hi, sir. Excuse me. I don't mean to offend you, but um, you're kind of in my territory. <laughs> Can I? I can trade you. Okay, emeralds for black dye. All right, light gray dye and. Brain coral block. None of this stuff seems very useful, but you know. Hey guys, how am I? I'm doing good, Andy. How are you doing, my friend? Just waiting for it to hit sub boxes here. It looks like we're. I had troubles yesterday with some streaming stuff, so it seems that it's taking a while for everything to show up here. <laughs> that's crazy. So is that all they do? Is that they just have terrible trades and that's it? This is so weird. All right, well that is what it is. Let me head back up here and uh, and sh kind of show you what I've what I've been going on. So, I, I have done a couple things. I made a chest room, um, so that, that is a little bit more... Well, it's not organized yet, but it's getting there. <laughs> in fact, no, I just kind of threw everything in a chest, and I just hope for the, for the best. Well, it looks like... You guys might be watching the video afterwards. It looks like nobody's here just yet, so we're going to give it a second. Howdy, what's up? Gracie, how are you? I don't want to give you guys the intro and show you what's going on if nobody can see it yet. The bucket of tropical fish? What is that for? What'd you miss? Nothing. We just started, guys. We just got started. Hey, guys. What's up, Chris? There it goes. Jay Higginstein, how you doing? Cameron, it's good to see you. Hi, Riley. If you guys want to watch these live um, every day at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm here, I'm, and I'm here live. Hi, Dean. How you doing, man? What's up, Muffin? Sorry I'm late. Just got a notification. Oh, no stress. We, I just, just got here, my friend. We just started. What's up, Ethan? How are you, my friend? What's up, Cheesecake? What's up, Wolfie? There's everybody. Hey, Astro. <laughs> What's up, Puppy? What's up, Kayla? <laughs> you just joined. What's up, guys? Don't worry. Just got it started. Do not stress. I haven't shown a single thing. So much progress has happened since last episode. And I, I just want to show it to you. There's a couple things that I'm so pumped to show you. Number one, you see that, that giant old beacon over there? There's something underneath it that I found earlier that I think you will find interesting. Two, I want to show you a little new mini game that I've created that I want to see if it will even work in the first place. What's up, Mike? How you doing, man? Lena, it's good to see you. And number three, I want to make myself an automatic smelter because I've made my house look a little better than ever. Hi, Shelby, by the way. Thanks for the five bucks. Thanks for the super chat. I think you sent it yesterday, but I just saw it now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and Ruby, what's up, Ruby? How are you? Thanks for the buck. All right, shall we get into it? Shall we, shall we show you around my new world? Eat that meat. You know how it goes. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what we got to since last episode. Da -na -na -na. Dude, we've done a quite a bit. I know it doesn't look like much, but it is. It is. I I've done a little bit here. So I used every one of my quartz blocks, and that's all we got. So I, I removed it from the ceiling. I decided to keep it either open ceiling for now. I might do a ceiling later of glass. I think the open ceiling is kind of cool looking, but then this way I can still see over across. Oh, that's so cool looking. I can still see over across the water, which I think is awesome. There's a little exit here, so in case I want to leave, I'm just like, ah, good morning. Oh, yes, yeah, time to get off to work. I can just hop out here into the water. I think that's kind of fun. I have a little staircase over here in my house, and then down below is just like a little makeshift way I made to get up and down. So, you know, those are just a couple things that I did. It's pretty, right? Yeah, I think it's so cool looking. And honestly, I was not sure about the glass, but the glass on the floor, I think, made it look super cool. So, anyway, that's what I've been up to since last episode. Um, and there's a couple things. You made it. You did it. What's up? Uh, what's up? Sashimi. I love it. Hi, dude. I like sashimi, and I like you, too. Kaylee, how are you? Was this all in survival? Yeah, 100%. This is all in survival. Well, technically hardcore, but no cheating here. Game mode creative can't even cheat I'm unable to 
So, let me sleep here and I'll show you what else I've been up to. There's something underneath the beacon that I am so pumped that I found. Who's drinking? What the? Hello? Sir, can you? You're so loud down there. I guess I have a neighbor now. Sir? Do you mind? You're kind of... Oh, oh, he's stuck. Is that the problem? There we go, there we go. All right, get out of here, man. I know, he all of a sudden he found this huge house and he's like, Oh, rich man, I must trade him for things. You know what? Where is my... I'll trade him. I'm not going to be rude to my visitors, uh, even though technically his, his guy spit on me a second ago. I have some emeralds here. Sir, excuse me. Um, would you like to trade? There's nothing I really need from you, but it's cool. So, I'll take some dye, I guess? I don't know. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Dude, a daisy. I could literally get a daisy right here. You're trying to sell? You probably picked the daisy from my own house, man. Brain coral block. These are just uh, absolutely useless items. Bucket of tropical fish. I don't know. I, I guess I'll take one of those. I don't exactly know what that's for. Can I put it down? <gasps> oh! I messed up! Oh no! That's so super cool! Oh no no no! Oh gosh! No fish! I'm so sorry! I don't want to kill it! I don't want to kill it! I don't have any glass to hold it off! Oh wait 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 wait! I want to make an aquarium! Is it gonna die? Is it gonna die? Okay fish, you stay right there! I don't know how that water is still flowing! That's technically impossible! Okay stay alive buddy! I'll get an aquarium for you! Actually if you like it as is, you have fun! Okay? I'll take another one. I really, really want one. That's so cool. I didn't know that you could literally have an aquarium. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. All right, all right. Have a good one. Thanks for selling me, like, a decent, decent item. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so I can make a fish tank later. Um, dog, if you eat my fish, I'm going to be pretty upset about it. So, guys, if you're just tuning in now, welcome to my hardcore world. Uh, I made some progress since last episode. I kind of built out my little tree house to be a tree home here. Um, I have my my food that I can grab every now and then. I have uh, my cows over there that are still getting acquainted. They don't like each other much, but, you know, getting there. And then I two other things that I made. So, let's look up at our agenda for today. So over here is we gotta yoke, <laughs> yoke that yoke. We gotta eat that meat. Two, we gotta make an automatic, uh, automatic smelter because I did get a bunch of sand and I need a bunch of glass if we're gonna do a roof on this and everything else. So I figure the best way to do it is to make an automatic smelter for that. And then two, I'm uh, sorry, three, full metal. And I'll show you what that means in just a moment here. But we need to get a little bit of iron smelted and show you what I what I found when I was exploring down there. So first comes the first. What I want to do at the beginning of every episode is, I don't know if this is actually going to work or not. I'm just going to test it and try it. So let me throw some of this stuff in here from my mining adventure. So, uh, my question is, if you see the yeet for meat, I renamed an egg Donovan. My question is, and I don't know the answer to it, is if you rename an egg on an anvil and you throw it down and a chicken hatches, does that, is that chicken named whatever? Or is it just named chicken? Or is it named nothing? So, I don't really know exactly, but I'm gonna come up here every morning and see if I can eat that meat all the way over into the chicken pen and see if I can get some, some new names. And we'll know if it's a good day or a bad day if we get a chicken that spawns. If we can get an actual chicken that spawns in the chicken coop, we'll be legendary. That's all I have to say. <laughs> so, I don't know if this is gonna work, but if we just go ahead and line our shot up and then one, two, three, and... Hey! Is that gonna make it? Oh, I hit the chicken! <laughs> I did it! I don't think Donovan survived. Poor Donovan. <laughs> but Donovan, thanks for watching, man. I'm sorry your egg didn't show up there. And Sarah with the three bucks. Thank you, Sarah D. How are you today? How are you today, Sarah D? You look so amazing, so gracefully. All right, well, speaking of that, oh my goodness, speaking of $20, goodness gracious, just pull up, uh, just put up your poster, and it looks awesome. Hope you're having a fantastic day, sending lots of love. You are perfectly timed with that. Thank you for being amazing. Here's my generosity, okay? So we have generosity from you guys, and our generosity. So every, every time someone donates, I think let's do $20, we can put people on the generosity. So today, Mulfallon is rocking there. Thank you for supporting the streams and, and keeping me going. I appreciate you. We have a lot of stuff planned and sometimes that takes funding. So, you know, the generosity is there for you guys. So thank you for that. Thank you today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now I'm showing off that. Um, the next thing I want to do is super quickly make myself the automated smelter. Um, 
we're gonna put our fish in here for safekeeping for later and let's go ahead and make our smelter here so happy birthday by the way someone's birthday is right now happy birthday hi parker what's i love parker great name <laughs> it's a great name all right so if you guys didn't know you can make an automatic smelter with three hoppers and a furnace and a chest and i'll show you how that works so i'll probably put it kind of over in this area here so if i put down oh where do i want it i don't know let's do it let's do it right here for now i might have to move but we can do it here for now i put a furnace there put a hopper on the side and then ooh, i need some blocks to stack up here then i put a hopper on top hopper on the bottom then i put a chest in the bottom then what happens now is if i get my charcoal here and my sand then actually it'll automatically smelt it all so i put the sand on the top so that'll automatically go into here into the furnace then i put all my coal in the side now let's say i had stacks and stacks of coal i can put it all there then whenever the furnace uh actually smelts the stuff it'll go into this chest here which is super sweet so it's a way to get a bunch of stacks of of sand or whatever done and smelted uh super efficiently and quick and you know if you have several different kinds of of burning tools you know coal and and charcoal you can put it all together uh in that in that thing there so anyway that's that what'd you miss nothing too crazy it just kind of giving you updates of what happens in the last episode and so now we'll get um some glass in the chest when that smelts so now we'll one day have a roof on here uh sarah d says i love you and all your merch oh my goodness keep up the good work me and my family watch you every day oh sarah well thank you for watching that's just crazy Oh, man, it just blows my mind every time. Thank you for watching, Sarah, and I appreciate it. I'm glad you like the merch. That's, like, that's the best feeling in the world, because if you spend money, I want to make sure you guys have a good experience, you know? You just joined. What's up, Espec? Good to see you, man. Um, okay, so now that we're here, we got that smelted up here. We got the glass. I showed you some new things, like the generosity, and then uh, that's it, right? Now what I want to show you is my next little project here. All right, so it's we're in hardcore mode, so I gotta be I gotta be careful here. I, I don't wanna die right now, especially how far we're in this episode and this series. But let me grab some charcoal here. I need a piece of wood, and we're gonna explore a cave real quick and show you something that I found here. All right, excuse me, tree. I'm just gonna borrow this off the top real quick. Just give me a little tree haircut. Thank you, sir. So if I do this, I'll show you down. I'll need some torches because it's gonna get dark here. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Are, can I help you? Yeah. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a month ago, but it's a private, it's a private property, my friend. Oh, but is this one a built building? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it's not. It's not a commercial property. Yeah. It's more like just residential. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna actually check all these buildings, and I noticed some things are broken. Gosh. Gotcha. Okay. You wanted to check it out? No, uh, you can come by tomorrow if you'd like. Appreciate you. All right. Sounds good. See ya. <laughs> All right, so and that's why we lock our building. <laughs> I was like, there's someone in my building now. <laughs> well, technical difficulties. Hey, Joseph DeMont says Parker time. Thank you, the DeMont family. You know what? You guys have been so awesome. You guys have been so, so generous. Yeah, I think the DeMont family needs to be on the generosity tree. That's so funny. A guy came by, uh, one of the building manager persons. That's so funny. All right, so let's put him on. He just got a little uh, shout out on the on the stream here. The the mulch family, thank you guys for being oh so generous. That actually scared me. I've never had someone stumble into my place before. I should probably lock the doors. <laughs> that was weird. I I know. <laughs> I got a little nervous there. Um, someone stopped by the office, and I wasn't expecting that. Uh, a building person, and um, he didn't realize that. You know, this wasn't a commercial front. He just thought that the building was for, like, anybody to walk in, apparently. That's so funny. All right, so let's hop on over here. Um, it was not the internet guy, but it's a guy that manages the building here that I'm renting from. So check this out, guys. Regardless <laughs> regardless of that little uh, thing, let's hop on over here and show you what I was doing. So down here, I have a little thing to share, and it's going to be interesting indeed. Ooh, I'm nervous and excited. Anna, thanks for the two bucks. I'm back in your channel after a few years. I missed you. Hey, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. It's good to see you again. Okay, so all the way down here, I found something that I think you all will really like. And also, we're going to have to be a little careful of. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so I don't want to die here, but 
It's a little open. I saw this cobblestone here, and I was like, wait a minute, I have a silk touch pick. I, I don't ever get cobblestone. And then I saw the mossy cobblestone and was like, yes! So we got a, we got a, a zombie spawner. Which I am nervous about and excited about. So as long as, oh goodness, hello sir. Good to see you buddy. Please die real quick. Oh, I gotta be careful for creepers. Okay, we should be fine here. And the great thing is it's right under our house. And I had no idea. This is like the best case scenario. Okay, come on. Don't let me die. Oh goodness, thank you Emma for the dollar! How are you Emma? Okay, you die, please go away. Alright, 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 quickly, quickly, quickly. Torch this up. And we should be good, right? Yes! Alright, what do we got? Come on, give me a name tag. I'd love to get a couple name tags. I know that name tags are fairly common in dungeons. But... Literally, I think my house is directly above this. Like, my tree house is directly above. I think that's so cool. Alright, we're opening it in... Three, two, one. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Two name tags. Frostwalker 2! Oh, snap! All right, we got two name tags. That's so good! Yes, dude. And then we got three bones, some gunpowder, and some charcoal. Oh, this is a sick day. Oh, I'm excited about that. Oh, man. Worried about a... Wait, worried about a live stream abduction there for a moment. I know, right? At least we're live streaming. You know, you know what, Why, just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and lock the door, just real quick. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can you imagine? There's just like a dude in my, in my uh, office. It's like, can I help you? There, it used to be an old building that uh, people used to buy from. So sometimes we have people come by looking for whatever they used to sell here. Oh man, I'm pumped about that. All right, so now we get to choose who we get to name tag. Um, I'd love to name tag Jeffrey. I think that'd be a good one. Also, one of the dogs will need a name. So, what I realized... I don't have any iron on me. Um, we might have to get it later. What I realized is we can make ourselves an easy way to get levels because of this, right? So, I did it once before a long time ago on the Cube SMP. I think how it works is you expand this out a little bit. You push them around with water. Send them up. And then they fall to their death, basically. Or fall one block, um, like one heart away from their death. That way you can punch them and get the experience. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, maybe not today. I'm gonna, I, I could try it. I'm not sure if it's all going to work here. So let's head up to the surface. Now that we've seen that, we're going to see if this all works. Thank you. Thank you, Demond family. How are you, by the way? Hope you guys are just super swell. I got poisoned by... By what? By what Parker found in the chest? You got poisoned by it? By a name tag? <laughs> what do you mean? All right, let's head up. Oh, I'm super, super excited about that. Man, name tags are are kind of rare. They're kind of hard to get. I guess you could fish them, but I, that just is so boring. I'm sorry, fisherman, but I can't, can't do it. In real life, in games, no matter what it is, I can't handle it. Hey, Haley, thank you so much. Good morning from Australia, Parker. Hey, good morning. How are you? Thank you, Haley, Emma, and Ryan, you awesome people. Okay. All right, here we go. All the way up. Now, it's probably nighttime, huh? I tried to put some torches around to hopefully not have us die, but, you know, you never really know. So, uh, next up here, should we just go ahead and... I, I, I do want to try it. I, I showed you guys earlier, you might not have seen the episode. Excuse me! Please don't kill my friends! My new friend that gave me the fish, excuse me! I like how he drinks an, an invis potion too. The traveling guy. Whenever it's nighttime, he drinks an invis potion. I think it's so funny. Okay, so I want to try it once more and see if my prediction is correct. I want to see if you. What the heck? What just happened? No, go away, please. Don't kill me. Can you make yourself squat? <gasps> what? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. You can just make yourself squat by, by putting one of these down? That's hilarious. Okay, well, good to know. All right, I want to see if I rename an egg, if I can throw it down, and that, that chicken, if it hatches, becomes whatever you name it. Might be an easy way to go get around this. So before we do the whole thing with the yeet for meats every episode, I want to see if this even works in the first place. All right, so let's name this uh, Test Boy. 
All right, so we have ten test boys and let's see if we hatch an egg. Come on. Give me a chicken Give me don't do this to me. Give me a chicken C Come on man. Come on. No Give me give me give me a single chicken Last one, please don't ruin this for me Thank you so very much All right chickens real quick. Do you mind giving me your eggs? I know it's been a while since I've checked up on you. It's been a while since I fed you I don't have any seeds for you either kind of a terrible owner of uh, meals oh my goodness autumn thank you for the love by the way okay thank you guys I gotta get oh I'm trapped um I'll just do this I right. sorry guys gotta go <laughs> thank you Ellie Rose and autumn goodness gracious you guys are nuts today thank you for being you everybody oh my gosh I have to go sadly hey don't worry puppy I'll be around I'll be around later okay so let me head back up here is the fish still alive Fish is still alive. Oh, that's so cool. All right, keep in you fish. <gasps> that's a witch. That's a witch. I thought that was the villager. No, 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 thank you. No, thank you. I'm, a I'm in hardcore mode. No, thanks. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> witch. Oh, this is not no time for witches. That'll get me down to half a heart. I am not ready to die. Not like this. Come on, man. Go away, Spoder. Okay, I gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Oh. I hate nighttime. Goodness gracious. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Excuse me, spider. <laughs> that dude was dedicated. He was ready to kill me. Whoa. Um, Otis said, I think I'm addicted to super chatting. No, but really enjoying supporting what you do. Keep being awesome. Autumn, you've been such a wonderful supporter for so long. I think you need to be on the wall of generosity. I appreciate you. Okay, let me put you on here. This is for Autumn. Autumn Grow. Thanks for being you. Thanks for making my my projects grow too. Okay, now we have four more attempts. So I have four eggs here. I'm gonna toss these bad boys in the anvil. Egg test. All right. Please give me a give me a chicken. Get, don't Aaron! Oh goodness gracious, you guys! <gasps> Did it name it? Oh, it didn't name it egg test. So kind of what I was what I was hoping was that since it was named egg test, the e the actual chicken would be called egg test. Oh, he's too cute to kill. I guess I just have a chicken pet now. All right, give me one more. No. Well, that's okay. We can still play our, our wonderful eat that meat every single morning. So now that that's done there, Aaron, thank you, by the way. You deserve to be on the wall of generosity. There you are. This is for Aaron Smiles with the best smile around. Hey, Parker and weirdos. Happy we're catching the stream. Perfect way to unwind from the day. Absolutely. I've been enjoying playing Minecraft myself. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so what I need now is I want to see if I can get that spawner working. So to do that, I need to get a bucket. I don't know where I want to put this fish yet. I could use that one, but I also have to pick a place for it. Guys, where's a good place for our fish here? You know what we could do? You know it would be kind of awesome? Have a floor. Have a fish tank floor. Would that be, would that be pretty cool? I'm trying to think where I'd want to put it. I could probably put it down here. Let's see. So if I do this, <gasps> and then I put the fish tank right down here. I got to make sure there's no holes, because that'd be the worst case scenario. Then I can actually put the fish tank in here. Oh, this is going to be sick. I like this. Ella, Ellie Rose says, bought myself a PC today. Oh, that's awesome. Congrats. Finally going to start my YouTube dream. Love your streams. Keep it up. We should play some time. You're so positive, and I love it. Oh, Ellie Rose. You're so wonderful. Keep keep the keep the dream alive. I love that. Keep keep being you. Okay, so let me get my diamonds here. Let me get my uh my iron. Okay, got my iron ingots. I'm gonna get one more here. There we are. So now I got a bunch of buckets. I mean to get buckets, get water, then I can go down to where my spawner is and get that spawner working. So it's gonna be quite the adventure today. Or at least see if it works. Okay, so now that we have that, what I wanna get is where is my... There they are, dark oak leaves. So I can patch this area off. We have a lot of people today here, guys. Hi, guys. Okay, so let me patch this off so my little guy can't escape. That sounds darker than I meant it to. Okay. <gasps> oh, he's kind of uglier than the other fish, but I'm not going to judge him. Oh, I love him. <laughs> I wish I had more emeralds. Oh, man. Well, maybe I can pick up the other fish. I probably can't. Do you, do you know if I can? If I hop down here, can I pick you up into my water bucket? Let's see. 
If I grab you, do you think I can, like, literally pick up the fish? This is a bad idea. I'm gonna break it. Oh, man, you're a pretty fish, but I, I don't know how to get you all the way up there. You might stay down here for now. As long as you stay alive, I'm cool. Okay, this is pretty sweet, guys. This is gonna be sweet. So now I have a little fish friend. <laughs> I feel like a rich Minecraft player now. Not flexing or anything, but I just... You know, I got a fish tank underneath my floor. That, that's how you know you're a rich Minecrafter, you know? Okay, put that there, and then I can block this off with the glass. And now I got a fish tank on my floor! Mmm, that's so cool! I love it, I love it. Love donating, don't have much money, but... Oh, Ellie Rose, just you being here means the world to me. Much less throwing any money my way. It's not about looks, Parker. It's about what's on the inside. And that, that guy right there, that fish, he has a heart. I just kind of wish he was colored, you know? But that's okay. He's cool looking. I will call him pl plant. Plant. Nope. I don't know. Is he a puffer fish? I don't know. Okay, so now that we have our buckets, let's... I'm so bad with names. I'm like, I will call him Blard. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> I can't do, like, a normal name, you know? <laughs> okay, so now that I have all my buckets, I'm gonna head down. Ooh, before I do that, one last thing, then we're going down. I'm fixing- <gasps> Get away! Oh, this witch is gonna be the death of me, no joke. Alright, so let me quickly fix up my pickaxe here. Don't wanna break it. Now we can head our way down. And not hopefully die by a witch. Oh gosh, please go away. Where are you? Aye. Where are you, witch? Oh, there you are, there you are. Please don't kill my friend. Oh. Goodness gracious. The scary thing about witches is they're so powerful, man. I'm on down to half a heart, then one little arrow is gonna kill me in the in the series. Alright. Now that we've got We've got our water buckets. Now it's time to get this spawner working, everybody. <gasps> you know what else I need? Signs. But I can make them while I'm when I'm down there. Call him Toby. That's a good fish name. Little fish Toby. I like that. Don't I, Parker? I'll, I'll try not to. Corey, I'll try my very, very hardest. Um, Bree! Thank you, Bree, with the five bucks, says, I'm so happy I have Wednesdays off and can watch you live. That's so fun. Why did the M&Ms go to school? To become a smarty. Oh! <laughs> love it, love it. Happy Wednesday to you, to it, Bree. Oh my goodness, thanks for being you. Alright, so now, if I do this correctly... Um, I don't have the blocks, I need to block it off. We'll use a crafting table. So if I make myself some dark oak signs, it doesn't matter the kind of sign, and I think how it works is they have to be pushed off in the corner here, and then they all float. Zombies like to float. So if I put a sign right here, then here, then put water here, the zombies will jump into the water and then keep floating. So then I'll just put a sign here, and then put water here, and then they will just keep rising and rising and rising until they get to the surface. That's kind of how I want to raise the zombies to the surface. They have to fall somewhere to get experience. I don't exactly know what I want to do with it. But anyway, that's kind of the plan. So let's see if I can do this. If I put down a... Oh, I gotta be careful. The zombies are gonna start spawning. <gasps> you know what? I think if I put a torch on top, it should be fine, but I don't know. So if I put water here, that puts water there. Got it. Now, I haven't done this in many years, so I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it. Right? That should work. So that'll push the zombies here. And then I think what we have to do is actually move this one block over, and this should this should work just fine. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm, I'm, this is crazy lucky, by the way, guys. This is, this is totally, I can show you the seed. This is real. I didn't cheat this. But legitimately, oh gosh, I heard noises. The, f the, the, the fact that I have a spawner underneath my house is the most random luckiest thing I've ever, I've ever done. So if I put a sign here, right, and then I put a, a water bucket here, sign here, sign here, sir, thank you. Then I put a water bucket there. It should technically raise the zombies. Oh gosh, they're spawning outside. Okay. Oh, okay. no thanks. No, no, thank you. Nope, not interested. Okay, question is, is this gonna work now? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. 
All right, the only way to find out here, let's just light off this area, break the torch, and hopefully not die. Okay, there we go. Zombies are spawning. Are they going to start rising up there? And come on, jump. Jump, little buddy. Oh, no, it's not going to work. Oh, he's got a sword. They should be jumping, but they're not. Hmm. Hey, guys, why are you not jumping in the water like you should? Huh. Usually they jump in the water. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. <gasps> Zombies with swords. Zombies with swords. Very powerful. Oh, my. I have full diamond enchanted. That was not cool. Okay, let me try moving it over once more and seeing if, if that's the problem. Alright, zombies, let's try this once again. Let's follow the drill, and please don't kill me and my family. That'd be, like, super awesome. Alright, alright. Start spawning, buddies. There we go. And are you gonna start jumping? I don't know. They're not, they're not jumping like they should, man. Hmm. Maybe put a slab on the last block. Like to raise them up? Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I can try that. Smart thinking. All right, so let me put a cobblestone down here. Put a slab down. And then now, will they get pushed into that slab and then walk on it? Let's find out. Only one way to test it. All right, there we go. Oh! Don't want to have too many spawn. Here we go, here we go. Is that going to work? <gasps> there we go. They're raising, but they're not swimming. I'm wondering if my old method of, of, of using this, of, of working with this, doesn't work anymore. It might, just, it might just be that this is an old method and that zombies don't like to float anymore. Huh. Oh, gosh. I'm going to drown. Oh, gosh. Okay. You know what? I'm not entirely sure of the problem. Very strange. It might be something I have to do off camera, unfortunately. This is super cool, but unfortunately, something is wrong. And I can't tell if this is an old method or if I just am doing everything incorrectly. <laughs> but soul sand. Oh, soul sand would be genius. Oh, you guys are... Ugh, you guys know Minecraft way better than I do. Soul sand will launch them up, right? So even if I have water all the way down, they go under soul sand, they'll get shot up to the, to the roof. They will drown? Oh, they will drown. Maybe I can put... Hmm. How do I get them? Because before, they wouldn't drown. Zombies wouldn't drown because what would happen is that they would go up to the top, they would go up one block, then there was a, uh, a sign, so they had air, then they'd go up to the water, sign, water, sign, to where they kept getting air as they kept swimming. And eventually, they, they got as high as you wanted them to be. But right now, they're not swimming up. Right, got it. Zombies don't float anymore. They drown. Big bummer. Oh, you that's where you meant, you meant by that. Why don't you just drop them 20-ish uh, blocks? Just because it takes a lot longer to get down there. Just like, I want to make this as, as efficient as possible. I'd love to just have the, sp the spawner farm, like, right here. I'd love to be able to just walk on over. And then just kill stuff, you know? I don't want to have to go all the way down 80 f stories just to get my zombie on, you know? Oh, excuse me, buddy. Please don't murder me. Thank you. Is it too much to ask for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that's that. What do I want to get? I want to get some soul sand and try that bad boy out. We'll try that method and see if that works. Good thinking, guys. All right, so soul sand. Do I have any? I should. There we go. I have some soul sand. And I need some more water buckets. In fact, let me clear my inventory out here. I got way too much just garbage. Blah, 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 blah. I have my two name tags, which is such a good win, guys. Um, by the way, since last episode, I got two more ender pearls. They just kept spawning up here, and so I kept smacking them. And anything else I need while I'm here? I might as well take some more wood. Make some, make some signs real quick in case I need that. Let's see. All right, we can make six more signs. Boom. All right, that's good. And we'll get a little bit of water. We'll get a little bit more water, and then we'll head down. 
Sound good, everybody? We'll test your theories out. Hiya! Ellie Rose, oh my goodness, thanks for the super chats today. I'll read those in just a moment. All right, um, Ellie Rose says, I think with a water bucket you can pick up fish. Yeah, Sh can I? I, d I don't want to accidentally, I don't want to accidentally place the, the water down. Oh, or and I don't want to die right now. Fish, are you still here, buddy? <gasps> you are still here. Okay, I'm going to put, put this right here. Oh, I got it, you're right. You're totally right. Ellie Rose, the MVP of the day. Thank you for that. Woo! <laughs> we got a fish. That feels good. Make a hole under the tunnel deeper so they swim. Yeah, that, that's a good tr a shout. My only issue is I'm uh, scared that they will only drown. Okay, so I got a couple bit pieces of water here. Don't use the signs? Yeah. Oh, you're right. I probably shouldn't use the signs with soul sand, huh? Okay, let's try this, and hopefully we don't drown or die. Do you guys believe in me? Do you guys think we can do it? I do have a book with aqua affinity. I probably should put that on my helmet. Before we go any further, but I'm already down here, man. I'm too lazy to go all the way back up. It takes at least 12 minutes. 12 seconds. That's too long. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do. We're gonna mine this up here. Let's put some torches so you can see. If I... If I mine up as high as I can, then... Right, do I put a soul sand right at the bottom, right down here? If I put a soul sand there... And then the water touches the soul sand. Shouldn't it push it? Let's find out. <gasps> it's doing something. No? Is there something that I have to do before that happens? Let me break this water here. Huh. Somebody's dying up there. I just heard a bat rip in peace. F in the chat, boys. Um. Why is not this working? Okay, soul sand should push up water, right? Okay, let's try this out. So we've put a soul sand right here. Then we put water right above us. It should shoot us up, yeah? They have to be source blocks. Oh, you mean like that? Oh, now it shoots up. Oh! Dude! Look at me go! You guys are too smart at this game, man. Okay, so now that we know that that works, uh, excuse me, please don't, oh gosh. Okay, now that that works, what we can do is put some water, mm, the best way to do it, I would say, what is the best way to do it? Maybe put signs on the side, or have them fall down to here. I, I want to make sure that the water doesn't push them backwards is the problem. What I might have to do, put signs here. All right, I'm testing something. All right, don't judge me yet. Don't judge me just yet. If I put signs there, block up here, take this soul sand, put it on this block, it should work. I I'm counting on them pushing each other at this point. But this should be just what we're looking for. And then what I got to do is I got to put water here. I got to put water here. And then I'm going to grab some more water. Put it here and here, and it should make them go all the way up, right? Ha <laughs> ha! This is so cool! Oh, I love this. This world is just getting better and better. All right, and now, to test our theories, we got to break this. There we go. We got, we got, we got our, our science project here, and it should launch them all the way up. Come on, come on. Get in the water, buddy. Come on! Come on, he's hanging out right in the edge there for some reason. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, he's hanging on the edge, but what if another zombie pushes him? Let's get two zombies here. We do one more to spawn. This should work. Hey, just got here. Did I, mi did I miss anything? Yeah, you missed a little bit, Kaylee. Okay, that should push him all the way in. There we go. There we go. Oh, they're, they're trying to kill me right now, which is why they're coming this way. All right, we need more zombies. We're just going to do a test here. Thank you, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy with a $2 super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It says, your videos always cheer me up. So positive. Yeah, it's way better to be positive. Come on, guys. Push them all the way in. This should work. Oh, I don't know if this is working. All right, I'm going to hang out over here for a second and see how many zombies we need to get spawning before this starts working. 
Thank you, Daisy. I hope you're just so happy today. Use magma blocks. What do magma blocks, blocks, blocks do exactly? How long has this been going? For about 40 minutes or so. I'd love to get this working before we end this episode off. <gasps> there, there they go! There they go! Yes! 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 Okay, so right around four zombies is when it starts working because they have to push each other through. But that's okay. Do magma blocks, like, suck them up? Is that what happens? What do magma blocks do exactly? Okay, we need one more zombie here and they should all be sucked right to the surface. Alright, alright, there we go. One more zombie spawn, buddy. I need your help. They do the twist. They do the twist. Da -da -da it's the zombie dance. Alright, well, four went up. It looks like. I gotta be careful not to get sucked up there. Oh gosh, okay, I gotta be careful here. Oh, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. <gasps> I'm gonna break the- I'm gonna break this block. Oh! Oh! Okay. F oh! Don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Yes! Alright, good news is this 100% totally works. Uh, the only bad news is, is that I might die while trying to get this actually fully working. Hmm. It's risky, but I think we should do it. Yes, more water. More! <laughs> more water! Okay, so if this works, I'm just gonna mine straight up. I'm in water, so if lava comes down, we'll be safe. Okay, I need to get more water while we do this. If I do this right, I play my cards right, we should have a working spawner in just a couple of minutes here. Let me read the super chats while we're waiting. Guys, thank you so much, by the way. Uh, the, the donations today have been nuts, so thank you. Um, Ellie Rose says, you can make a tower where they fall, high up. Yeah, that's kind of the plan is for them to fall down. Um, get rid of signs. Have the water next to where they fall. The only issue is that the water, having the water there, since they're source blocks, it will push the water out, and so it'll keep them from getting into the water, if that makes sense. I have to have a way for the water here, the source block, not to flow all the way into my spawner room. The only way to do that is from, is from signs. That's kind of what I'm thinking, anyway. I might, I might be wrong, but you know, you never know. Okay, I might need more... I need more iron, too. Might take a few tries, but we'll get there. You know what, I might want to release my my tropical fish down here to make it a little, little faster, too. Release, buddy! Please don't die! I kind of need you! Okay, so I'll just keep putting water down. One, two, three. And we'll keep going up here. Uh, thank you for the super chats, guys. Holy cow. I think I missed somebody's super chats. Let me read that. As we get up here. Um, Aaron. Oh, I read yours, Aaron. But you need to be on the wall of, of Donos, by the way. The generosity. <laughs> How do I become a mod? I mean, just being kind. Being kind, being helpful. And one day, one day. You know, in time. I modded the people that are currently mods just because they're wonderful human beings. They're so helpful, you know? Alright, this might actually take a while, I'm sorry guys, but it's for the greater good of our world. I should, I, hopefully it's only a few more blocks. How, how high is it up actually? Does it have to be all source blocks, or can we cheat a little bit? L let, let's test that, let's test that. I don't want to be here all day, so let's just put in, um, you know, one every couple of rounds. That way it's not a source block every single time. Oh, sorry, some disconnect problems with the internet, guys. Paul, I might have underestimated this, actually. Goodness gracious. <laughs> this is a while. It has to be all source blocks? Um, well, let's let's try this first. And if that doesn't work, we'll figure it out here. I don't, I don't want to be here all day. J with you guys, at least. I can do it off camera if it needs to be all source blocks, you know? Oh, gosh. Oh, man, it's getting hard to swim all the way up here. Breathe. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe. Oh, goodness, that's terrifying. There it is, there it is. Alright, there's the surface. So we're going to find out exactly where this is, this spawner is. Alright, there's the surface. There it is! Alright. Whoa! That's amazing! 
All right, so this is where the spawner is, and the house is right there. That's so lucky. Insane. It's lucky that I even found it in the first place. Okay, so now, now, if we go all the way down here, just real quick, and light it up with the actual soul sand, will it send them all the way to the top? Let's find out. Only one way to find out. All right, ready? And put the soul sand down. Oh, it's already down there. If I go into it, is that going to launch me all the way up? Bummer. Bummer. You were totally right. <gasps> oh, gosh. Am I going to die? Oh. Yeah. You are right. I'm sorry. I do wish we didn't have to do the source blocks, though. That's going to take a lot of time. All right, well, lesson learned. Recap the episode, please. Well, you can watch the video afterwards, but just super quick, uh, we built out our home, so our home is looking much better, uh, be better as ever. We introduced the generosity, which is a uh, little wonderful wall for the donators. And then, what else did we do? We um, pretty much got our spawner working, almost. Our automated, uh, our automated smelter is working well. We got a bunch of glass working on it. All right, this is great, guys. We're making some serious progress. So, if I'm going to do this quickly, I, I think that if we're going to end this episode, we have to at least have this thing fully functional and working. So, I need a bunch of iron. We'll do it real quick here. Uh, Aaron, you're on the your wall of donos. Are you not? Yeah, you are. Of course you are. And Ellie Rose. You know what? I think you got to be on that wall too, huh? Thank you, Ellie Rose. You're awesome. Oop, all capitals. Ellie Rose, thanks for the super chats today. All right, now I need iron, and we'll get this bad boy a working. Because I swear, if I don't have a working zombie farm by the end of the today, I'm going to flip out. Okay, four should be enough for us, right? A couple more. Eh, I ran out of iron. Do I have any more iron? Yeah, I do. I got a little bit more. And we're going to deck out full of just amazing buckets. Here we go. Boom. Yeah! All right, all right, all right. We're full buckets here. And now we could probably make this pretty simple. Man, Soul Sand made this process so much easier. I was worried this would take like 90 years. All right, buddy. Enjoy your home. Yay! Oh, I love it. Please don't kill each other. I don't know if one of you are, uh, you know, carnivorous. Is that the right word for it? Where they eat other, you know, things like it? Okay. In fact, I have a spare bucket just in case. Zombies, you're going down. Hey, Griffin, thanks for the two bucks, buddy. Thanks for being awesome, dude. Here's my first ever dono. Love watching you. Griffin, buddy, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate you watching. I assume you watch the show, too. The crazy weird show. Thanks, man. You're awesome. You're a legend. Um, Sarah says, place kelp. It makes every block a source block. <gasps> How do you guys know all this, man? This is insane. How do you know so much more than I do? Okay, so... Kelp, do I need to get scissors for? No, I don't. Wait a minute. Can I literally just break kelp and just place it all down? Are you serious? Ellie Rose says, okay, one more. This is addictive. <laughs> At least it's going to a good place, you know? I'm working on cool projects. Oh, gosh, don't kill me, please. This summer, I'm doing a project with a... Uh, it's a live stream project raising money for pediatric cancer. And we got to have money to start it. So all the money today is going towards the project, not to charity itself, but to the project itself to raise money for charity. I know it's complicated, but we're working on it. All right, so if we do that, we can place literally kelp from the bottom all the way up. Is that what you guys said? Oh, I can't get there from here, can I? Ah, bummer. Can I slowly go down? No, I'm stuck, aren't I? Yeah, I got to go the, the, the long way. Oh, please don't kill me. I would like to breathe now, please. Okay, gotta go the long way. We'll test your theory out here. And if not, we got our water buckets to try it out, too. Kelp be superior. I know, right? Kelp, what a legend. I miss you guys, by the way. Yesterday, I tried to do this stream. I got so excited for it. All this progress happens. And uh, I couldn't stream. For some reason, I, I clicked the stream button, and it wasn't happening. It wasn't working. I don't know what... What was going on with YouTube or what? But it wasn't going live. But anyway, we're here today and that's what matters. And we're having fun. Okay, so put that there. And if I put kelp right there, that doesn't work, does it? How does kelp work? Oh, no. 
How do I plant kelp? Is there a certain way this works? Break it all after you get to the top as well. Ooh, smart. Oh, I see what you mean. What I have to do is I have to break this. I put the kelp there. Oh, got it, got it. Then I'll go and break it all after it's all source blocks. How do you guys know all this stuff, man? How do you know that kelp creates water source blocks? That's just like a wonderful Minecraft fact. That's awesome. You subbed? What's up, man? Mr. Figurine, thanks for subbing, buddy. Welcome to the channel. All right, give me more kelp. I need a little bit more here. Thank you. Hey, from the Demote family. Ellie, I know the feeling. Worthy cause. Parker is a salt and light. Good dude. Oh, that means a lot coming from you, Joseph. Appreciate you, dude. And Jocelyn with the two. Thank you, Jocelyn, for being you. You guys are nuts today. Oh, my goodness. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve your love. Okay, so, kelp all the way up. All the way up. That's cool looking, by the way. So now we gotta go to the bottom and break it all. Or I guess we could, yeah, we go to the bottom and break it all. Real satisfying looking. Oh, that's terrifying sounding. All right, all the way down. Then what I do, I break it at the bottom. Whoa, do you hear that? <laughs> Little motorcycle going on. Now, if I put soul sand there, that should send him all the way up, right? <gasps> we'll try it. And hopefully death isn't in my future. Well, I mean, technically it is, but you know. Okay, you get stuck on the sides. That's good to know. Get going, buddy. All the way across. Everybody, I need your help. Everybody, file in one at a time. All the way across. Aaron! Says, hey, Parker, what did I miss? And how was your day? My day's been awesome. So, 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 so fun. A lot of cool stuff has happened. I almost got kidnapped earlier. Not really, but a random dude just walked into my office. Thought thinking it was a store. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Question, and I'm, I'm scared to risk it. Right now in my inventory, I have a silk touch pick. If I mine this right here, would it give me the spawner? Or would it kill, would it like kill the spawner? I don't want to test it. I'm just curious. Okay, is that working, guys? Are you going all the way to the top? Come on, keep going. He's jumping. He's excited. He's excited. Where is my torches? There they are. Okay, give me one more zombie to send him all the way to the roof here. Come on, come on, come on. One more zombie, one more. There you go. Not over here. Go over there with your friends. Go play with your buddies. And that should send him all the way up, right? Go, 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 go. Yes! Yes! This works! This works! It actually works! I feel like an evil genius, man. My invention actually works! This whole time! Okay, let's look at him. Look at him go! They just shoot up there. <laughs> okay. Should I risk it and try, and try to go up there too? Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't, I don't want to do it. What if they're stuck midway and I die, you know? It should be fine, but I'm nervous about it. I don't want to risk it. My whole hardcore world is depending on it. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill this light switch. Go away. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of zombies around here. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Break this real quick. Oh, that's going to make water go everywhere. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. <gasps> it's fine. Don't kill me, spiders. I hear you. I don't know. Dark oak leaves. Go away. They should spawn. Oh, there's guys everywhere. Oh, they're coming down. They're coming down. Oh, no. They're all coming down. The stairs. Oh, those little legends. Okay, they should spawn, right? Is there a reason why they're not spawning? Let's just close it off so it's really dark in there. Let's make our way up and see what's going on here. Let's see if we have made a successful... Spawner. Hey! Teresa Straup? Th Teresa Straup. Thank you for becoming a member. Welcome. Thanks for hitting the join button and, um, and becoming a member. Enjoy that wonderful old crazy emojis and that little emoji by your name. Welcome, my new weirdo. Everyone, let's welcome Teresa. Okay, if we go all the way up here, it should send zombies right up here. Okay, we got some kelp. Oh! That scared me so much! <gasps> Did I close all my... What happened? 
Did I close everything? <gasps> Can you guys still hear, hear me? Can you guys still hear me? Am I still alive? Oh no, what has happened? Don't kill me, zombie. 